एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In this part of the video, we will be learning about casting defects, and this is the second part of the video. In the first part, we have covered certain types of casting defects. Welcome to S Chand Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. so the topic that we will be covering in this part of the video is casting defect and it is the second part of the video in the first part we have already covered some of the casting defects the casting defects that we have covered in the first part of the same video are these three which are namely blow holes pin holes and shift now in this part we will be covering the remaining casting defects so starting the video we will cover the defect which is named as short run so short run is that type of defect in which the cavity which is there inside the mold is not filled completely that means we are pouring the metal and the metal generally solidifies but the overall cavity is not filled that means the metal solidifies early and the casting is not filled entirely so that leads to a defect which is called as a short run defect we have certain causes of this defect number 1 if we don't supply the material properly that means we have supplied lesser material and we wait for the solidification so this would lead to a defect lack of fluidity is there in the molten material third molten material temperature is low and if we have the faulty gated gating system so gating system is what in which you have a pouring basin you have a, a runner you have a riser and that runner riser combination or a gate that you incorporate inside the cavity if it is faulty then it would lead to a defective casting and the defect that would arise is the short run defect there are certain remedies for it number first remedy is when you adjust the pouring temperature so there is a need to adjust the pouring temperature and the rate of pouring is also to be adjusted otherwise it would lead to a faulty casting and uh, thirdly you have to modify your gating system so these gating system modification is no doubt required in order to overcome or in order to avoid this short run defect so so far we covered this short run defect now we will be covering the defect which is hot tears so very interesting name uh, the defect which occurs in the casting is hot tears so hot tearing or hot tears is generally an undesired formation of irregular cracks in the metal casting that develop during the solidification and cooling uh, if you can see the diagram in the diagram you can see that there is a pouring cup or a pouring basin and we have poured the metal and with the help of sprue it goes inside uh, the runner and then ultimately this cavity gets filled and there is a core which is used to make the entire casting hollow what happens here ultimately during the solidification there is some crack which is being developed on the surface and that crack is called as a hot tear or hot tearing other examples can be like this when this part is prepared after solidification so it has certain crack on the surface and that crack is called as hot tear here also on this corner edges you can see the development of hot tears because of the solidification so what could be probable causes if you don't have compatibility of the core i told you that a core is there in this and if the core is not compatible so it would lead to the formation of crack high temperature of the casting is there the the metal that you are pouring is at insufficient temperature and uh, you have the incorrect design of the gating system this is gating system 
if you have the incorrect design of the gating system then you can um, get this hot tear defect then you have lack of fillets and corner radiuses and uh, in this casting specifically you can see that the, the corners are rounded that means fillets are being provided and uh, lack of fillets would also lead to the formation of this hot tear defect what are the probable remedies you need to improve the design of the casting that you want to create and improve the compatibility with the core proper solidification should be there you need to calculate the solidification time and correct your pouring temperature so pouring temperature should be proper the proper solidification time of the casting is calculated prior putting into the material and then uh, you need to check for the compatibility and ultimately you need to improve the design of your final casted product or you need to check for the gating system so, so far we covered these defects which are named as uh, short runs hot tears now we will be covering the cold shut part so as you can see in the diagram when the metal is poured inside the surface and it is not filled completely so it would lead to the formation of a cavity creation inside that is called as a cold shut kind of defect. So cold shut occurs when the two portion of the metal flow together but there is a lack of fusion between them and a premature freezing occurs. So the metal that we, we have poured inside the surface is already there but the metal freezes before coming in contact or before filling in the entire cavity. So cold shut we have covered now we will cover the misrun aspect of the casting defect. So misrun is that kind of uh, a casting defect in which the solidification takes place before filling the entire mold cavity. That means let's say I am pouring the material from here and the casting or the cavity is being filled before filling the entire cavity the metal is being solidified that means there is a defect that here the metal is not reached so that particular part is called as the misrun defect the top uh, typical reasons or causes could be the fluidity of the metal is insufficient that means we have uh, to heat the metal to the liquid state and make it uh, a fluid so that it uh, goes or it fills the entire cavity. Then the pouring temperature is too low. If it is too low then it would solidify quickly and pouring is done too slowly. If we are pouring the metal, I have, uh, I have uh, already told you in my previous videos that we have to maintain a proper pouring uh, time in order to have the entire uh, casting, entire cavity to be filled. So if this pouring is done too slowly, so the metal would be solidified uh, prior to filling the entire casting. And the cross section of the mold cavity is too thin. If it is too thin then it would lead to the formation of a defective or a faulty casting. So with this we come to the end of the second part of the video named as casting defects in which we have seen certain casting defects namely hot tears etc. And the other uh, casting defects are covered in the first part of the same video. For detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.